Good evening, everyone. It's Monday, October 26, 2020. Rubby level one, day nine. Vlog number 1303. Currently, I'm just adding and uploading the vlog from yesterday, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should already be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so I lit a candle in here. I, I was sort of laughing, I don't know, in the last clip because I had to sneeze a lot. This place, um, I just recently discovered because I have been cleaning up today. Um, I had to go to the grocery store and pick up multivitamins for me and a couple other things. Uh, like actual like pet odor eliminator things by Glade. Um, got anything else. I think I did, but I don't know what it is. Um, and some kitty litter, of course. Um, the kitty litter is really, really good at drowning out the smell. Um, but, I mean, how much kitty litter? Because, like, once, once it, like, absorbs the you know odor um like you have to constantly be thrown out so you you're constantly having to deal with kitty litter um so anyways i had to get kitty litter for the cats though and so anyways and i kind of cleaned up in here i think i showed you guys yesterday but i did I cleaned up a lot in here <clears throat> today. This is so nice. I had to pick up so much junk off of this floor, but it's really, really clean now. Um, obviously, the floor is probably going to stay like this. I have to make sure my counters are clean and basically germ-free, um, which is kind of like an annoying process, but anyways, I have to do that. Um, <clears throat> um, and stuff before I can really even, like, clean up in here. Um, because, I don't know. I'm just a clean freak. And then, as you may or may not have noticed, I emptied out my, my, uh, what do you call it? What is this thing called? Sink? So... I washed all of my pots and stuff that was in here. I still have a few more forks left. Um, this thing has to be um, washed, obviously, but I also have to find a place for it to go. Um, some of the stuff I stored in here after washing, so I had like plenty of uh, bowls that I had to wash too, so I put them in here. Um, I had to wash some Tupperware and stuff. I still have that thing, and I'm gonna put, um, dirty plastic spoons in there so I can just, like, kind of rinse them off and be able to reuse them. <clears throat> if I'm just, like, barely using them for, like, marinara sauce or something. Um, and yeah, so... Um, currently, I'm just, um, looking for a place to put my, my nonstick, what is this thing called, walk, um, somewhere, so, I think it's gonna go in there, but, yeah, I guess I'll have to go in there, um, and then I gotta empty out my dishes from here. I have a lot of um, dishes that have to be put up somewhere. I think they'll go in here as well. I have like plenty of space over here. Um, kinda, sort of, maybe. Uh, maybe I can like, make some room. But anyways, I have plenty of space base up here to put those plates in and I put a pot up there 
if my mom was here, she would have been able to help me. But anyway, she's obviously not. Um, and what else? I gotta wash that one. Um, you know, because I mean, when I get ready to use that one again, I'm gonna use this one to make, um, and this one to make like. Uh, my rice and split lentils in um, and that's pretty much my like rice and um, protein slash starch intake so over here I have like three bags of trash full um, that have to go in the trash that have to go in the dump um, this thing has to go in the dump those things have to go um, I'm a uh, put those up um, in one of these bags and I clean up my cat's litter today that one has to go um, there's like a empty bag of for salad sitting right there that has to go um, into one of these garbage bags so I can throw it out um, I gotta move that because that does not look good and then everything else is basically done um, this place is pretty much where I like it to be at. Um, and I gotta do a load of laundry right now. Um, so back to the cigarette smell, smoke. I have, uh, a lot, uh, so this place really, 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 um, smells of cigarette smoke like as soon as you walk in the house I feel like it would make the value of the house go down um, so what I'm going to try to do is actually improve the value of the house um, by making the cigarette smell go away maybe that's stupid because some people like already know how to eliminate like cigarette smell but anyways um, it's kind of like um, how I was able to buy this place was just on a deal basically like oh, okay it smells like crap okay I can get it for a much lesser value um, and stuff and just like fix it myself if I want to make any changes to it so if it stinks or anything like that um, and it does it smells so much like cigarette smell and as soon as you walk in the house you're just like <laughs> and you're like what the crap like you're like where is that coming from the person that lived here previously smoked and cooked um as well so i don't know if you can imagine just like smoke all throughout the freaking house um i hate like i i believe um okay so i i really couldn't even clean um and stuff and like do what I have to do when I'm in the house because of the smell I just can't stand it like I just um I don't know but I um, found a solution and that solution is my candle here for now um, let's see how well this goes and and everything and um, I also bought like a bunch of Glade refreshers and so I got I have to like keep them away from the cat so they're actually in this room in here um, so that good boy yeah baby um, <clears throat> so they can't get to it, and, um, that way the stream will start to be, um, less stinky. That'll be one more room that'll be less stinky of cigarette smoke, so I can use it, and I can clean it. Like, I wasn't able to actually even go in there and, um, start to clean it, because I just, um, have to deal with the cigarette smoke first. It's just, like... I hate it um and I just I don't I don't I'm tired of it getting in the way um so like I have to like clean 
like I still have to clean the top of my computer of like bird poo um, from Raja when he was here uh, still and and stuff and I haven't been able to get around to that because of this odor. So once that goes away, I'm gonna be like stress free, free free. Cause I can make a mess. Um but like clean it up, but like I just don't want it to be stinking here. I think I'm allergic to smoke anyway. Um and then once so also so once I actually lit my candle, um I started sneezing because I think it actually like cleared my passageways um, and stuff. Who knows? And today, um, so I did two cups of ramen, cheesy ramen. I did four cheese sticks with uh, marinara sauce. Um, I've just been doing water because I, I think the water actually helps my immune system and. I think it actually helps with um, my sinuses. Uh, and then, so I had like three fish sticks um, on a bun and that was really gross. I really, really enjoyed having fish sticks with mac and cheese. That was to me the best usage of those fish sticks. Um, that was so good and I had a pickle and I had a couple of sodas and I had a fish, a filet of fish earlier. Um, and I have like an onion sitting in here and a tomato, I have like some tomatoes but I think they've gone bad now and I have some limes. Um, I was going to use the limes to make like guacamole. Um, or something. I don't remember what I need the limes for. But you always need, like, limes for Indian recipes. And, um, my tomatoes have gone bad, but I, I can just go back and pick up some more tomatoes. And I was going to make some lentils with that. Um, some yellow split lentils, which are delicious. Um, and I tend to eat them all the time with rice, as long as it's with rice, um, and I have something to, to like a side to, uh, to go with them, um, <clears throat> they're amazing, but I'll do that, like, rarely, I'll do that very, very rarely. Of course, can't be going out for too long, they've actually now declared that Texas is now... Um, getting a surge in their hospitalizations as well for COVID. Um, so can't really stay out very long at all. Um, I just, I just had to go to the grocery store and, um, pick up a couple of things and then I just came back. Thanks a lot, China. Um, I have to do a lot of water just to, um, kind of re-energize my cells, you know. Um, and then, anyways, so what I was going to say about the smell, um, the smoke, there's, there's also like, you know, cleaning that can be done to reduce it. It smells like, um, somebody maybe threw some cigarette butts into the sink drain in the kitchen also. Uh, it's like crazy, like... It's really really difficult to clean so I have to like really like get down dirty and I'm probably you know see if I can't just I don't know I don't want to think about hiring someone to like look into uh, the drainage system and make sure everything is out of that um, and they're all nice and clean um, and clear and, um, but yeah, I was going to just use, like, um, ordinary, like, cleaning supplies to get rid of the smell, um, in the bathroom and all that good stuff. 
So hopefully this goes well. It seems like it's gonna take a long time because I'm just not, um, I, I don't have time for that. So now I'm just like down to the smoke smell. Um, and like with any homeowner, you're, you know, concerned about every single thing and you want every single thing to be perfect. And so, you know, that's, um, I'm the same way and I would like to, um, not have this smoke smell in my house. Um, so I'm gonna do everything that it takes to try to make it go away. Um, it, it hinders like my ability to like do stuff like I can't it'll be subconsciously on the back of my mind because like cigarette smoke is associated in my mind to a negative thing um so yeah <laughs> I'm just like red light in my brain just flickering or just solid when I walk in the house like so I will like try to take it out it's like a distress thing so like I will um uh, yeah I'll have like a mental like I'll have like a whole like mental thing um with that um because I like it to be soothing and peaceful around me like a lot like I'm all about that zen so um like a particular kind of zen <laughs> and it just messes with my wiring <laughs> my watch cat so I'm sitting in my computer and I turn around and I'm like I got a fire and I came closer so I turned the switch on what? We have some video magic, cinematic beauty. I think I should put it out. It's a pretty big flame. Anyways, Jigglypuff is like looking at it. She's like, mm. hey, Sarah, are you going to turn this off or what are you trying to do? Because I'm, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to chill with it. No big deal. I mean, you know, it smells good or whatever you're trying to do, but like, just trying, you know, just trying to tell you. <laughs> it smells so good. I don't want to put it out. Uh, it doesn't smell like <clears throat> cigarette anymore. But I guess I think we're gonna have to put out <laughs> that made it obvious. Okay, let's turn it off, I guess. <clears throat> Cause the smoke will like get on the ceiling and stuff. It's gonna be added work for me. It's all green and stuff on the outside. All better. Well, I was not expecting that to happen. That happened in a very like short period of time. Look at how hard this is. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, it smells so good. This is a Victoria's Secret. I think it's like Secret Seduction or something like that. I'm gonna go pick me up another one. Or like a lot of candles. It was like my last candle, I think. I wonder what happened. Like I had another candle, but I think I gave it away. Like before moving here, I think. 
probably what happened to it. It's not really something I would do, but like my mom insisted I throw everything away. And I was like tired of arguing with her because it's her. And like, I just, I, um, already knew that I was going to run into this situation, but she didn't listen. So, um, now I have to find something to like, like really, really help with smell. This sucks. I have the Glade, those little Glade things. I bought a bunch of those, but they, um, they don't really like work in this house i have to like throw out like all the stuff i'm sorry if you can't see like i'm probably sure pretty sure you can it's just like i don't have any like light <laughs> i need to fix that um and throw this away i was gonna throw it away because i emptied out the litter box <sighs> and um <clears throat> what else was i gonna say so anyways i'm making fish i'm making a uh, filet and then I'm using like basically these pasta um, spaghetti as like, uh, even though I think it would probably be really, really delicious with um, mac and cheese too. Um, but I'm going to use this and make spaghetti and use it as my carb. And like right now what I'm trying to do is, so that was like my last little packet of pasta that I have actually in the house. Um, so I'm just like trying to like empty out everything. I have like a lot of, uh, masalas, um, or seasonings, you know, I'll have like a lot of seasonings. I'll have a lot of sauces. I'll have a lot of ingredients, um, that I use more or my mom uses, I guess quite a bit, like yellow spill lentils like I have so much of that I have like a lot of lentils and beans um and I have uh chickpeas so um I'll use that stuff as ingredients quite a bit so that's what mostly like my shelves consist of and I'm just like always trying to run it out but I always, always will have like lentils in back stock. Um, um, and the pasta will eventually like expire or something. Um, with lentils, it takes like a lot longer to do that. Um, so they stay good for a really long time. Um, and then I have garlic ginger paste. I have like all the basics. I have like a lot of paprika. I just have like a lot of spices. Like I have dill, I have salt, pepper, I have black pepper, I have salt. Um, it's just like all scattered everywhere. I have a jar. So all that stuff's like um, in my cabinets. Um, and then I'll have like other food that like I'll eat daily, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get into that because that it's like borderline snack stuff, and I don't want to get into that. Um, so yeah. Um, and I'll yeah. And so like I'm just like trying to run everything out uh, all the time because I don't know. I'm very concise um, with what I eat uh, and stuff. Um, I'm very picky eater, and I'm just like trying to figure out exactly what, like, what area I'm gonna go to. Like, if I'm gonna, you know, do like a lot of lentils or chicken the food pyramid like if I'm gonna do chicken if I'm gonna do beef one day um if I'm gonna do lentils which consists a lot of protein um if I'm gonna do a sandwich um yeah 
if I'm gonna do soup, if I'm gonna do chickpeas, if I'm gonna do beans, rice, lentils. I think that's pretty much mostly what I like to eat like all the time. Because, like, I drink, like, a lot. Like, I drink a lot of soda. Like, I drink a lot of Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, I try to do water. I do a lot of liquids. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. And I have, I'll always have, like, salsa and chips. But... I just, um, I don't like to do them either because I feel like they're still, like, pretty oily. Um, it's kind of like a cheat food, to be honest. I'll do this tomorrow. I have, like, a lot of full bags uh, and trash is, like, overflowing. And just, it just fell over, um, which is the most annoying thing. Like, I can't stand touching the ground. Um, not to mention I got these. I've, I've been having these sitting around for I don't know how long. Just been staring at me. Hey, baby. So, and I thought about throwing out this cat box. Um, I think the cats have pretty much gotten their use out of it um, and there will be more boxes obviously to come it's not like they're gonna not have any more boxes to play with I could always like turn this on by using this knob just removing it putting on this one and change the timer timer on it um, but I don't know it'd be nice to just have all three of my knobs uh, <clears throat> so I finally got around to making the pasta. This has Parmesan cheese. I put some butter in the pasta when I was like boiling it. Um, a little bit of salt and um, obviously marinara. And that is the fish patty. I'll tell you guys tomorrow. Um how it turned out. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys on the next vlog. One other thing I was going to say in yesterday's, uh, in yesterday's vlog was that that's how they catch, like, serial killers or, or whatever, or basically they identify, you know, the crime. So, Ted Bundy escapes, and then a bunch of girls die, and then they catch him, and the the dying die, the dying stops, and the killing stops, and then he escapes again, and then more dying starts again, and then he gets arrested, and he goes back to prison, and then the dying stops, and they were the whole entire time they were just like, we're not really sure he did it.